children. Today I am here with the topic nutrition in ruminants. This is the topic of class 7 biology. Before starting this topic, first of all we should know what do we mean by ruminants. Ruminants are herbivores. You must have seen cow. What they do? They eat lots of grasses at a time. And then when they sit properly, then they brought back those grasses in their mouth and chew continuously. So this process is called rumination. This process is known as rumination. And those animals who are involved in rumination, they are called ruminants. What they are called? Ruminants. So I am going to make you understand how do ruminants digest their food. You know, we human or mammals, we cannot digest cellulose. For digesting cellulose, we need a, an enzyme known as cellulase. That enzyme's name is cellulase. What we don't have. This cellulase is secreted by the microorganisms, some bacteria and protozoans, the flagella. Flagella, the locomotory organ of bacteria and protozoans, which are found in herbivores. What we don't have, those bacteria we don't have. So we cannot digest cellulose. These cellulose can only be digested by the herbivores animals. One more thing is there, if you have noticed that herbivore animals have a special kind of teeth. Their teeth lack canines. They don't have canines. Canines function is to tear the food. So they don't need to tear any food. They have well developed incisors and premolars and molars. Their premolars and molars have no, no cusps. It is almost flat so that they can grind their grasses properly. So let us know what happened with this uh, uh, ruminants during digestion. You know a very uh, different type of digestive system is there in ruminants. They have four chamber stomach. They have four chamber stomach. Names are the first one is rumen. Reticulum, omasum and egomasum. They have rumen, reticulum, omasum and egomasum. Rumen, reticulum, omasum and egomasum. These are the four chamber stomach. In this stomach only food gets digested. What happened? One by one I am going to make you understand. First of all, when Cow, they take food or herbivores, when they take food, they take lots of food at that time. And it goes to rumen. It goes to rumen where some microorganisms are there which start making it or digesting it partially. Not completely, partially. Then it converts the food in a curd. Curd means paste-like structure. Once again, this rumen sent back the food to the mouth of herbivores for chewing it well. When it goes to mouth, there it gets mixes with saliva and food once again gets soft and they come back to rumen again. After properly digestion, they come back to rumen again. Then what happened in rumen? As I have told you, in rumen some microorganisms are found which are releasing cellulase and this cellulase start digesting cellulose. It means they start converting cellulose into carbohydrate. Simple carbohydrate. After this process, food goes to reticulum. After this post process, food goes to reticulum. In reticulum also some enzymes and bacteria are found and they start digesting. You can say that digestion almost most of the food get digested in reticulum. Most of the food get digested
digested in reticulum. As I have told you, in reticulum, most of the digestion takes place. Food get digested in reticulum. Then, with food, food and bacteria, food and bacteria, they come to omasum. They come to omasum. In omasum, there are so many foldings. These foldings increase the surface area for the absorption of digested food. For the absorption of digested food. So most of the food get absorbed, digested food get absorbed in this omasum. What are those food? Water and the food which are in bicarbonate form. They get absorbed here. Now concentrated food. Lacking water, the food which is lacking water, solid food, you can say, this concentrated food goes to abomasum. Now it reaches to abomasum. Abomasum has a kind of acid. What it does, it kills the bacteria present in this food. It kills the microorganisms or you can say, what type of bacteria? Harmful bacteria. The, they are they are killed by this, this concentration, this acid kills the bacteria. And at the same time, this protein is destroyed. The structure of the protein is broken and converted into, and converted into the simple protein. Here, structure of protein is also broken and converted into simple protein, which are utilized by bacteria, not by herbivores. And then this food goes to small intestine. Through into small intestine, it is sent to colon and then finally in cecum. Then finally in cecum. You know one more thing that this relationship between bacteria and ruminants are called symbiotic relationship. Symbiotic means what do you know? Symbiosis means mutualism. Mutualism means where two different organisms are benefited by each other. Where if one is dead, another one will also get died. Means they both are benefited from each other for their survival. How can we say? We can say, you know, ruminants, they supply cellulose. Ruminants supply cellulose to bacteria. Why? Because bacteria has cellulase. So what they do? They digest cellulose. And they get cellulase, they have cellulase, so they digest cellulose and ferment the food for getting energy. Second thing is their fats which are present in food are digested by microorganisms into fatty acids and given to ruminants. Earlier ruminants were, earlier microorganisms was taking cellulose and now microorganisms are giving fats. And one more thing is there. This ruminants supply amino acid, the broken protein, to the microorganisms. And microorganisms convert this amino acid into protein and supply to herbivores. So are they benefited by each other or not? Yes, they both are benefited by each other. That is why we can say that in the relation, relation between microorganisms and herbivores are symbiotic. They both have symbiotic relationship. I hope you understand well the nutrition in ruminants. You know the last stomach, the last chamber of stomach which is known as abomasum. This abomasum is the true stomach of ruminants. This is only called the true stomach of ruminants where HCL is there. Where HCL is there which kills the harmful bacteria. And provide the medium for the breaking of protein. So this is all about nutrition in ruminants. I hope you people have understood. So if you understood, you please write the comment and subscribe for next video. Thank you very much.